I'm ready. Sometimes you're going to see them described as diverging lenses because parallel rays of light that go in diverge away. <laughs> so it spreads out light. It's kind of like the opposite to a magnifying glass that focuses light in on a point. This spreads light out away from a point. And that helps us draw the first ray. We're going to follow our same three rules for rays that we always follow. So the first one. In parallel, out, in parallel, out through focus, but we have to use the opposite focal point from what we used when it was a convex lens, and so we're going to go out, but away from the near focal point. So it's going to spread, it's going to spread a parallel ray of light out like that, and that also helps us with which focal point we're going to use for the second ray, the in through focal point, we have to line up with this focal point over here, and we're going to aim in at that focal point, so we're going to hit about there. You guys are going to use a ruler for this. It's going to be in parallel, and we, were, we had our line aimed for that other focal point, we have to use each focal point once, and then out parallel. The third ray, same as it always is, is the in and out straight through centre ray. What we notice about these three rays on the real side of the lens, where the real light's really going? They don't, don't collide. They don't converge, they are diverging rays. And so where is our image going to be formed with a concave lens? Imaginary. Virgil? Virgil. 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 Yeah. How are we going to work out where it is? Dotty lines! Mm. Make the parallel line. We're going to dotty back from the real rays, the ones that have been refracted. So mirrors <coughs> reflect, lenses refract like they bend light by refracting that. So back like that, and we can see that our image must be formed in there. So that's our DO, that's our D distance to our image there. What can we see about that image? Who can give us three describing words for that? Oh! Diminished. So the size is diminished because it's smaller. It's erect! It's erect, it's the right way up. Fake. So the orientation is erect. Magnification is diminished and the nature is virtual. virtual because we made it with dotty lines. And if we put a piece of paper there, somewhere between the object and the lens, we wouldn't see an image. No image is actually formed at the virtual image. It's just that when our eye is over here, that's where our eye perceives that these rays of light originate from. It sees these rays of light as originating from some point here. And so our brain puts that together to interpret an image that's formed at that point. So that's what we mean by a virtual image. Our brain thinks that that's where the light's coming from, and so we, we apparently see an image there, but you put a piece of paper there, there's no real image there. When we're doing calculations for the concave lens, we're going to be able to use our same equation, our 1 over F is 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. The thing we have to be aware of and careful of, and the thing that will often trip us up when we're doing calculations, is that the focal length of a concave lens like this is always going to be negative. And because the image we form is always going to be virtual, that DI is also always going to be negative. The DO is, has to be real, the object has to be a real object, so that's always going to be positive. But for a concave lens, we are expecting that F is negative. Why? How is F negative, sir? Because it's not real. 
But that's the focal point drop. How's there a negative focal point? Mm. On the um on the convex lens, the the convex lens being the one that's like that. The focal point is real. And so the rays that go in parallel go yeah, through yeah, that yeah, focal yeah, point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas on this lens here, yeah. the rays spread away from that focal point. They never yeah. go. Is it because none of the rays actually go to the focal point? Mm. Like they never actually go through. Well, it's the same because like with an image, if it's got dotting lines, that makes it spiritual. So the focal point only has dotting lines and spiritual. It's mostly the reason we need it is it's it's a mathematical fact that we have to be aware of when we're using that equation to do a calculation. So if we're using that equation, 1 over F is 1 over DO, it's 1 over DI, to do a calculation, we have to be very careful to put in that F is negative whenever we're using a concave lens. We're expecting that the DI is going to be negative as well. Which mirror? Which mirror is this the same as? Which mirror? also has a negative focal length and also always makes diminished images that are the right way out. Yeah. So not, not that. that They're not the right way out. Oh, no, it's not the right way out. So a concave lens yeah. is mathematically exactly the same as a convex mirror, a security oh, mirror. It's always going to make that upright, diminished image. That is crap. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, and in the same way, the concave mirror behaves the same as a convex lens, like when we're really close to it, it's like a magnifying glass, it makes things bigger. And if you hold a magnifying glass really far away from you, like we just did in the do now, the image is upside down, the same as your image is there. So we should be making some links between like convex lens is like a concave mirror and a concave. Convex mirror is like a concave.